kikubor ka batesi tv lawan rasha phi ta ka frank motors the all new altros now with more exciting features ka any ride ka app ban book taxi bad bike ban pensuk ya ka let kawan kat kum ka jingdon kam jong phi namar bangi nyokor ya ka por jong phi download ya ka ni ka app na ka play store Hatu pikwa baki janjong pi kin khoit ba benat kam da ka oswel su khila ban yo na barok ki dukan ka IZ group of institution bangalore ka dei ka college babhatam na ka banta ka jingkuli nursing but paramedical course hospital training in your scholarship but is pa percent ka kam aki hospital bahe do india but shabari na banta ka jingkuli ka jingseo ka bare but khila ban le yu ban kuli da ka education loan khila ru ban chu kol ho number khanda hnyo nyo sao sao san riu riu pra no la ni khanda pra riu lai san ar riu be khanda pra U President Jonga Meghalaya Pradesh Congress Committee Uba Vincent H Pala Ulaong Baha U hi shimet kamdon jing e a a lada wanra yaga lenti rel hagani gjilla Meghalaya laga long harilom khasi lani harilom garo hag jing e kran bat kilat pathai ku bor haga khat artarik unaitung arajar arpulai Uba Vincent Pala ulapen ksan yaga ni gjing kran jong u dagaba ong lada bishar yaga jing khap nya jong ki surok ka jing bom yo kam yo jam ka jing kiu dor ki marba mardi Kapor kaladei baladon kam ban donno ya galenti rel. Jantia hills, Khasi hills, be it whatever be it Garo hills, if you see the congestion of the road, if you see the unemployment, if you see the price rise, if you see so much problem in the in the road in terms of maintenance and all, I think I personally have no problem if a railway comes. But at the same time, we living in a society where, we, like I've said, we are so society. We can always agree to disagree. We are living in a society, a small society, where many NGOs oppose to it. I think the government has to balance what is the purpose of the uh, opposing to it, and what is the development, and what is an employment. So they have to balance. I don't mind if the railway comes. At the same time, if the government think or if the NGO think that we are not in a position to accept the railway, and that also becomes small smit. I don't mind. But I personally prefer that be it railway, be it highway, be it uh, be it uh, airport. We should come more so that because the employment instead of our people running away. The goods, especially now, most of the cement uh, factories, we have almost more than 17 million tons. 17 million tons means 3,300 tons per day. That means almost more than 50 lakhs tons are being carried from uh, Jandi Hills to the rest of the country. So that is not possible in the, to maintain the road and the traffic in the future. And if we have a railway, that will be easier for us to commute, easier for us, cheaper for us to do so many things. This is one thing we have to look not only the present but the future. At the same time, we have the highest deposit of limestone in Asia. We have the highest deposit of limestone. More factories are coming. We have also coal, the best quality of coal in the world. So with all this, if we look, I think we need more infrastructure. We need more investment. We need more employment. So we look, uh, we look in that point of view. We do need. But if you look from a point of view of what the other NGOs are saying is the is the infiltrations. If you look at that point of view, they are correct because we are small, and if people <coughs> comes and take away our job, takes away our minerals, take away so many things from us, uh, it, it, may, it may not be may not be able to sustain in the future. They have a point on this issue, so that's why I said we can always agree to disagree. My point as a member of parliament is to see that the public uh, get what they deserve, and as a uh, mandate given to us, we should express our uh, views. But at the same time, we should not say that oh no, what they have said is wrong because they look from a point of view as a small community, as a tribal community, we should always be protected. But sometimes we are, we should be protected, we should be promoted. But at should at the same time, we should not be, uh, you know, uh, lose the balance of protection and also the development and employment. We agree with you. The government should uh, do a study, should do a study on this case. Like normally, we have the impact assessment whenever we have any project. So the, I think the government should do a study, and this has been a central government or the state government. They can work and do a study. It's not a big exercise, but they can do a study. The, how much the influx has really affected us, and how much the uh, the development do we need? 
I personally think that as a tribal, we need to be protected, we need to be promoted. At the same time, with time comes with technology and all, we should also need employment, we should need food, we should also need so many things. So we should also be at par with the rest of our people. We should not only confine in our areas. So I think that has to, there must be a balance in the future. I think I said that impact assessment, you're right, the government can always do it. I think the coke plan has been illegal. And who has done illegal? It was done by the government. Uh, yeah. How they give single window so many, the coal has been banned, but they still give single window. I welcome the decisions of the court. The court, I think they said that there must be a CBI inquiry. We welcome the as a party. We welcome if we have nothing to do. Because why? The coal has been banned, but they still give a single window. They give more than 80 single windows. So, uh, you know, in one hand they give a single window and the other hand uh, they said that's illegal. So the government has done illegal work, necessarily the court will, in, will intervene. Rather, we are happy to see that at least the court of law is there to see that, you know, uh, that the, the, it is being implemented in true spirit of the Supreme Court's order and the NGT's order. Mm -hmm.